Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I said I would post a video just to keep you updated regarding some recent developments that Microsoft has now started to test uh, in Edge Canary, which is um, a preview version of the browser, as many of you would know. And uh, um, just to collate a couple of new uh, features um, that could make their way down to the stable version one day in an up-and-coming update. Now, as yet, I haven't received any of these features in my region. Um, it's quite common, as I do mention, that Microsoft will roll out brand new features to the Canary browser um, using a controlled phased approach, and not all regions get them at the same time, and some regions may not get the new features. And I have been waiting for a couple of days, but as yet haven't received any of these um, to show you in real time. But nonetheless, um, we are going to use a couple of screenshots and GIFs provided by Leo over on Reddit and Twitter, who has um, received uh, these features uh, in their region. Now, the first um, of just a couple of new features, just to keep you in the loop if you are interested, is that Bing Chat has now been integrated into Edge's mini menu. And yeah, we can see um, uh, in the GIF provided, um, if you are using the mini menu, so yeah, you can see there's text being highlighted. And uh, um, in that mini menu, you can actually ask Bing Chat now about that highlighted text, and it will then give you the answer uh, in the mini menu now. So that's just a bit more of AI integration now into the actual um, right-click context menu when you highlight text now in the Edge web browser for desktop. And then moving on to the next, this is regarding the, um, uh, the PDF reader and viewer um, in Edge, and uh, also regarding AR coming to the PDF reader, where now it seems that Microsoft uh, will be adding Bing Chat, um, and will be integrating Bing Chat now into the PDF reader, as we can see. So yeah, we can see uh, in the um, little search field at the top, ask Bing Chat about the site here at the top, and uh, um, there we go. If you ask Bing Chat, it will then obviously open up regarding what you're asking and respond to you in the site panel. So it seems that the PDF reader now will also be getting Bing Chat, which will also be integrated now in the PDF reader and viewer uh, in the Edge web browser for desktop. Moving on to the next, and this is actually an interesting feature. And this is going to be very um, um, interesting for gamers. It's a new feature called Edge for Gamers. So this looks like Microsoft could be testing a new um, feature and very similar to what we get in Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, where you can adjust your uh, PC to gaming mode and obviously Microsoft here trying to take on the likes of Op Opera GX which obviously is a web browser built mainly um, with gamers in mind. Now um, this is a new Edge for Gamers toggle on the appearance page in Edge Canary and um, after you have enabled this um, you are automatically redirected to the themes section. Um, and the add-on store and the Discord and Twitch apps are also automatically added to the sidebar, um, as we can see in the screenshot provided. And the description reads for this new feature: um, level up your experience in and out of game, um, in and out of game with a gaming homepage, sidebar apps for gamers, efficiency mode for PC gaming, dark mode, gaming themes, and more. So very much seems to be Microsoft now trying to compete with Oprah GX. Um, kind of um, looking more towards gamers and as mentioned very similar to the gaming mode that we get in Windows 10 and Windows 11 and this is going to be an interesting one to watch and obviously um, if this does become available in my region I will obviously uh, post and let you guys know accordingly and then uh, moving on to the last two um, GIFs and screenshots that have uh, been made available and uh, this is regarding the Favorites Hub, and I actually have posted on this um, previously, but just to update you if you are interested, um, the Favorites Hub uh, in Edge Canary now displays um, a different, um, a, a couple of different thumbnail options, as we can see, and uh, which now include a small thumbnail view, um, a medium thumbnail view, and a large thumbnail view. And obviously, these different options are for different thumbnail sizes, which you can choose to your own personal choice and preference. And I actually think this will be a nice move, as I always say, in the right direction, uh, especially if you have a lot of thumbnails and that you have saved and bookmarks you have saved um, in your Edge web browser, and just making things a lot more accessible and user-friendly, and obviously just giving you access to quickly recognizing those thumbnails and those favorites using those different view options, which include 
um, as mentioned, small, medium, and also a large thumbnail view. So that's just a quick overview um, as to some of the uh, different features now available that Microsoft is testing uh, in um, Edge Canary. And um, as yet, not been able to show you those in real time, but obviously if some of these do roll out, I will post ASAP and let you guys know about that. And at, at this stage, um, it goes without saying that none of these features are currently available in the stable version, but um, there is a good chance that some of these may make it down to the stable version in up and coming updates. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.